This is what we're going to make in this video. Welcome to the ultimate guide to producing hard groove techno. Today I'm going to be going step by step, making a track for you and showing you how it's done, every single element in detail. To do this, I'm going to be using my new sample pack, Ultimate Hard Grooves. The link for this is at the top of the description. It is these five kits where you get all the individual layers as loops, plus you get the full Ableton files and the MIDI and the presets and literally everything for these. It's a really great collection and kind of like the only one I've seen for hard groove. I'll just play you a few little demos real quick. So yeah, really awesome stuff. Once again, links at the top of the description. Thanks so much for the support, guys. It really helps. And let's dive in. All right, so hard groove techno. Let's go up to 142 BPM is what I've been feeling recently. And we're going to start, as usual, with a kick and a bass line. So let's use this kick right here. I'm going to go ahead and just put that in right start with. And then the bass line off of that. And also, while you have this, you can go ahead and duplicate it. Mute the first one, make it really short, and now we have a side chain. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the bass line. So, you can see what's happening here. It's, it's like a very simple bass, right? It's really just three notes. It's just a simple, like, just using a few notes for the actual sound. So it's a square wave, you low pass that so it's a bit fatter, and then we're going to use an EQ to cut some sub that's a bit, you know, muddy and just adding like kind of heaviness to the track without really adding a lot of power. And then also we're going to cut out any extra like kind of mids or highs, side chain, and then convert it to mono. But I think the last thing we need is 707, and we're going to use the toms and kind of create a little groove over this. All right, you can see it kind of just fits over top of the whole bass line and kind of adds just a bit more movement to it, right? So I'm actually going to pitch this a bit and then I'm going to do this copy value to siblings. So now it's all pitched down. We're going to convert this to mono as well. Let's just do it like there. Put this filter a little. grooves really well over top of that then we can take a nice hi-hat right really tight and punchy like that and then we'll also get a clap too while we're at it turn it down so we're not clipping too duplicate these and what we're going to do is on the hi-hat, we're going to find a loop. Like, I'll grab one out of here. Right? Like, maybe something like this. And see how that's going to fit with that other hi-hat. I think that's the one. And it's just kind of adding a bit more groove to things. And then on the clap, same deal. We can take that. And let's get, like, this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little shorter, too. And so now between these two... Yeah, you're getting a lot more kind of like just groove in those main drums. And that's the secret is kind of like embedding it into those main elements, right? So now from here, let's go ahead and get some of these like live loops. Or like this one. All right, that's great. So this is where you need like that live element, right? Like the very kind of like non-programmed, organic. Right, and I think we need to get a little side chain on that. Like let's copy it from the bass line. And 
like one of these as well so you can see we can start bringing in these live elements and because you have the foundation already it'll all work right and that's the key it's like a lot of people hear hard groove and they think oh it's just about these loops and stuff well it's not just the loops it's like dude you gotta know how to make a really good low end You know, you have to have all that grooving with those main drums before any of these rave loops are going to work. And that's really where, like, a lot of people go wrong is I think they're so focused on the loops, but it's like, there's a lot more to this. All right, let's use that one. There's a lot more to this than just loops. I also think we could just use a little like closed hi hat here, you know. All right, like that, cool. Just sixteenth notes, but it'll give it a bit more groove. Let's turn things down a little. Keep it so it's not clipping. And now we are going to do oh, yeah. a little vocal. So what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. oh, let's bring that tribal house loop in really quick too. Okay. So we're going to take this vocal. Oh. I'm going to right click on this or double click if you're on a Mac. Slice to new MIDI track. And then do it per 8th note. Or honestly, let's do it per 16th note. And then what's going to happen is now you got that. Oh, yeah. That's all these little hits. But you can see, I'll show you. And we'll turn this down. There we go. So now we have all these little vocal hits. Right? And we can create a rhythm with those. And there we go. And you can see what really helps is having it kind of like restart into itself. So I'm just taking four of the chops from that vocal. And you can see it creates a really great rhythm. And again, it's really the way it comes back into the rhythm where it's like, it's like the same note on the last note as the one that starts it. Now, let's process this a little. So when it comes to these vocals, I try to keep it to where, like, the processing is really already in the vocal, and I'm using it because of that. Like, you know, this already has a great distorted kind of texture to it that you don't need to mess with. But a little bit of delay, high-pass filter. Also, side-chaining. And there we are. So that is how you make a sick hard groove techno track from scratch, step by step. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get the pack that I used to create this track today, Ultimate Hard Grooves. The link is at the top of the description on my website. This is not only the only hard groove pack like this on the market, but it's also the most accessible. You know, it really doesn't cost a whole lot, but you guys can get going today and make the best track of your lives. I promise if you grab all these sounds...
you'll hear the improvement in your production. I've seen it happen before, and I know it can happen again for you. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Links at the top of the description, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.